Hi, Stuart J. Raj here. I just got off a flight back from uh, a few days of working in Malaysia and it was really fun over there. I love the languages, learning lots of Hokkien. I was in Penang, and uh, but it's great there because when you run a workshop, especially where people have to present things, they um, can present in any language they want and everyone understands everything. So from Malay to Cantonese to Mandarin to Hokkien, we had a ball. But anyway, on the flight back, um, my mind was wandering and thinking of things to do. And this ties into the TED talk that I'm going to be giving up in Chiang Mai next week. Um, that is installing a linguistic operating system for your mind. And so um, I started playing around with stuff and I thought, yeah, this has got something to do with it. When I was on the plane, my mind is always trying to uh, link things together to do with language and communication. I think this is a really um, crucial skill and also almost a habit that I have of doing that I think makes it easier for me to learn languages. So I just want to show you something fun um, that um, and an exercise that I ended up doing, but it just shows you, you know, the brain doesn't have to always just think about languages, but it's seeing patterns in everything. Okay, so um, here's something for the nerds out there. Um, here's Morse code. If you don't know Morse code, I've got a clip out there. Type Stuart J. Raj Morse code and you'll see the YouTube clip that I put together to teach you Morse and sign language at the same time. But you can see, so a uh, it's the A, B, C, so a dot is dip and a dash is da, so A, di da, B, da, di di di, C, da, di da, di, D, da, di di, and so on. So what I thought, um, when I was a kid, my grandfather used to pl play with uh, binary and hex numbers with me, and we, so he made me learn my 16 times tables, and then we'd have to sort of switch decimal to binary and binary to hex so we could go in and, and look at memory locations and stuff but anyway so what I did was I made um, to I wanted to see how I could turn Morse code into binary so I made the dip a zero because it looks like a zero a little dot and then the da that looks like a dash it's a like one lying down so da is um, number one in binary so on the plane this was uh, a great putting my time on the plane to great use. You can see here, so in Morse code, you can see you've got um, some that are like E, dit, it's just one space there, um, or T, da. Um, so that one is one that takes up one space. So the binary number for one is there, one. So what I did, I listed which letters in Morse code have one, um, thing one I guess what you call slot which one takes up two slots that's this one so um, 0100 is two in binary 0011 three in binary so which one has three spots and four spots so um, A so the letter A apple di da okay so that takes up two well, you can almost say two syllables so that goes in the second row okay and so I did the binary numbers for those and then so if you know binary you know that this first place here is one, the second spot is the twos column, third spot is the fours column, the next spot is the eights column, and if it went on it would be 16, 32, 64. Anyway, so each letter then gets a binary number. Now, um, so we separate them out though, I turned it into an 8-bit number by adding this to it. So the letter A actually becomes zero 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 one zero 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 one okay so that would actually be zero 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 one which turns into this here that's the hex number pretty cool huh okay so what I did then was I listed these hex numbers down here for each letter you see and then, so these are the hexadecimal numbers. So A now becomes 21, B, 48, C, 40, what is it, 44, I'm reading it backwards here, uh, 4A, sorry, D, 34. And so now, out of all of that, we have a whole new alphabetical order based on their binary values turned into hexadecimal. So the alphabet, if you put the, just, I know that these are, you may have wondered this um, and stayed up at night thinking about what the alphabet, alphabetical order would be if all the Morse code letter values were put into binary and put in sequential numeric order. This is it. So it's E, T, I, A, 
uh, M N and then I what did I miss it up there M oh, okay M N S U uh, I S U W R D K G O H V F I mean L P J what's that B X C A Z Q there you go that's the alphabetical order if it was according to their Morse code binary values thrown into hexadecimal. A bit of craziness there with patterns and numbers and language and everything, but it's just one thing to keep the, the brain when looking at language is just always looking for patterns, even patterns that maybe not be there. That's okay. If you can make a pattern to make you remember something and make it have sense to you, that's great. Um, and so... If you can find any other patterns in language, and I do it with tones or anything that I can do um, that creates a set, um, just sit there and do it. Keep your brain active and keep learning. I'm Stuart J. Wright. Howdy,